All right, guys, so welcome to lesson two of the uh, F-18 BMS familiarization flight. And in the first video, we did a ramp start. Uh, in this one, we're getting ready for takeoff. So uh, first thing I like to do, just clarify something uh, in the last video. You know, in the real aircraft, this is a <laughs> the Sidewinder uh, coolant switch. So obviously, you can, you can cool it. Um, it'll add coolant to the seeker head and it can just see hot objects a lot better. This is not what this does in the uh, BMS F-18. This is the uh, Cat 1, Cat 3 switch. Alright, so taking off, you know, first thing I like to do is just uh, get on the brakes and I'll spool up to, uh, to mill at 100. All right, and then I'll do a. Uh, actually, I'll do a little bit less than 100. I'll do a flight check. Uh, so stick forward. Usually, you'll have your uh, FCLS system uh, on one of the MFDs, but we don't have that, so we'll go external. And we just want to check. Stick forward. Stick left. Stick right. St stick back. Uh, left rudder, right rudder. Make sure all the flight controls are working which they are. And then we'll check the panel down there. So no lights on the panel. Uh, and then um, we'll check our engines. Good engines, good highs, good lows, which is the uh, engine temperatures. Uh, and everything is good to go. Usually uh, nose wheel steering, you'll disengage it around, uh, I'll go buster to 100. I'm not going to do an afterburn takeoff. Uh, nose wheel steering comes off after 70 knots, uh, but you can disable it initially. It's fine because it is a little bit. So there's 70, and you want to do a nice easy pull up. So right around here, nice gentle pull up. And when I say gentle, I'm <laughs> you really want to do nice gentle pull up. As soon as we get positive rate, we'll do gear up. And usually in the Hornet, you climb at about 350 knots, usually up to altitude. Um, and you climb up to your uh, cruise altitude. Two, airborne. So we're actually going to do a pattern. And in this video, we'll talk about uh, uh, takeoff and landing. And if we're doing pat pattern work, we'll go ahead and keep the gear down. Uh, in the F-16, it's 300 knots. In this aircraft, it's 250 knots. So I'm just up at to uh, 3,000 feet. Uh, typically, pattern work. I, I was just demonstrating the uh, takeoff, but typically, pattern work will be Three, at about 1,500 feet or 1,000 feet. Just depends. So I'm going to come back down and four airborne. Some really nice scenery that BMS has added. Uh, one thing I will note is uh, if you're running HD tiles in the configuration, uh, you might want to disable that because it seems to be causing some uh, FPS hits. Uh, I tried running the HD tiles and for me they don't really look any different at all. Um, but it seems to be causing some performance problems. So I would just run the regular tiles. All right, so there's a beam, and that's when we're, uh, our left wing uh, is right at the uh, touchdown point for the runway. And I'm going to go ahead and extend gear. Four, in position. Make a left turn to final, and then we'll kind of talk about the uh, angle of attack indicator, the E bracket. All right, so coming here, when you're halfway through base, you're at the 90. Uh, we'll use the same terminology when we do carrier operations. Uh, and so, I'm sure, let me get on speed here. You want the donut, that green donut, on the uh, angle of attack indicator. 
I'll keep turning here. The way uh, traffic patterns and the uh, carrier patterns work, it's just a big oval. And f for the most part, it should be one continuous turn uh, all the way around the carrier. You do level out in fields. All right, so as we set up here, I'm going to trim this out a little bit. I'm going to try to get on speed. And, uh, and we'll pause it here for a sec. Okay, so let's talk about what we're seeing here. Uh, pretty much exactly like the F-16. Um, right here is your E-bracket, and it should have a, another detent here. This is your flight path indicator, or your velocity vector, or your, your FPI. You'll, you'll hear it called different things. I usually call it the flight path indicator. And then here's your angle of attack indicator. So obviously, if you have if you have a donut, that means you're on angle of attacker. You're on speed for this particular weight. And we're a little bit heavy. That's why we're at 147. And that speed, you don't really worry about landing speed too much. You really are worrying about angle of attack the entire time. So the goal is to uh, have your flight path marker in uh, the middle of the C bracket. In the F-16, you put the uh, flight path indicator on the top, and then as you flare. That flight path indicator will move down as you slow down, and your angle of attack increases. In the F-16, there is no flare. Uh, you land the aircraft nose up uh, all the way to touchdown, and what you're looking for is about a 700 foot per minute descent rate. So here's your descent rate. We're at 1,000. Um, typically on the carrier, you want to be 700, 750. The aircraft is capable of landing at, you know, probably 2,000 feet a minute um, without breaking. Uh, but a thousand is really not unheard of. Um, but really, you want to be around 700, 750. And the way you do that is is to line up your uh, flight path indicator with this little dash line. So let's continue the approach here. Um, so again, do not flare this airplane. Don't pull up. Uh, don't try to finesse it. Just keep the same sight picture, angle of attack, flight path marker on the intended point of of uh, contact with the runway and you fly it all the way down exactly how we'll do it in the uh, on the carrier as well. And that little dash line is your um, getting really slow here is your uh, three degree marker. So I'm just trying to get it on that. There we go. Uh, so you're really you're controlling your your descent rate and everything with your uh, throttles. So you just land it just like this. Alright, and then once you touch down you can go full power again. And nice gentle easy pull to lift off again. and we'll climb back up. So that's essentially how you land the Hornet. There's really, I mean, I, I don't want to make it any more complicated than that because that's all you do. You get E-bracket, e you get on speed with a green donut, uh, and then you use your, you know, hopefully you're trimmed out for that speed. You don't really have to fight the aircraft too much. And then you just use your, uh, your throttle movements to control your descent rate. Uh, so your, your throttle, especially on the carrier landing, you're going to be moving that throttle uh, quite a bit. Um, and you, if you watch videos of guys, you know, landing on a carrier, you'll see that throttle just moving all all over the place. So that's the basic takeoff and uh, and landing in the F-18. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.